Hi guys, welcome back. It's Miss Becky from Allegheny County Extension Office of the University of Maryland. And I have another at-home fitness tip for you guys. So this is another activity that Miss Tammy demonstrated on Miss Tammy's Tuesday Tips <laughs> one time. Um, so it's to make your own skip ball. So skip ball, if you remember, is the little activity where you have a loop around your ankle and a ball and you kind of swing it around so it's kind of like jump rope almost. You're hopping over the string as it's going around. It gives you a really good cardio workout, gets your blood flowing. So we're going to make one of those today. So there's a whole bunch of ways to do this and you probably have stuff at home that you can use to make your own. Uh, Miss Tammy and hers used a ring from a planter and she had a dog toy. Um, so that was her weight on the end. So I have some different, uh, different items here. So look around your house. There's probably something that you have that kind of would work in the same way and there's a whole bunch of possibilities. So I'm going to show you what I have and you can check out her video and that'll just give you a couple different ideas on ways that you can do this. So the things that I have here to uh, put our skip ball together. I have this little ring um, from a toy. I have a couple of different tennis balls. These are like the dog toy tennis balls and this is an actual tennis ball. And either one of those works just fine. I have some rope. Uh, I have scissors and then I have some tape here to kind of hold everything together. And then these, I'm going to show you, we're going to use these to um, thread the rope through the ball. So we'll use those here in a little bit. So you have kind of two choices here. You can either have um, a parent or an adult help you and cut some little slits in your tennis ball and you can actually run your rope straight through there. Um, and that's one way to do it. If you don't want to cut it or you don't have somebody to help you and you want to go ahead and make this on your own, you can just use some really good duct tape. So you'll just wrap the rope around the ball, make a knot, and then wrap it up real good in tape so it doesn't come flying off at you because you want it to be really secure because you're going to be swinging it around. So that's an option if you don't want to cut or you can't, don't have somebody to help you with that part. I'm going to show you how to thread it though if you do want to do it this way. So I already cut my slits in here so you can see it goes straight through. I have a hole here and a hole here and I'm going to take my rope and I'm going to thread it through. And we kind of came up with two different ways to do this and they both seem to work pretty well. So the first one is to take a pencil and a little piece of tape and I'm actually going to tape this to my pencil like so and then I'm going to push it all the way through so it pulls the rope through with it. So you kind of squeeze your tennis ball a little bit and that's going to open it up give them a little mouth and then you want to stick your pencil straight through and poke it out the other side and you can pull it all the way through if you want to and then undo your tape and take your pencil off and then you can wrap it around um, and make a little knot so you have it tight. The other way that you can feed it through, I have a pipe cleaner here and I have it folded in half. So you put the folded part through sort of the same way and you stick it through the tennis ball and poke it out the other side. And then you have a little loop here. So you can put your rope, stick the end through that little loop and give it a nice tail so it doesn't get lost. And then you actually pull on the other end so you can pull it and you can see it's going to pull the loop and the rope and everything straight through. And it's going to come back out the other side and then you can pull your tail through. So either way, once you get your rope through the tennis ball, you're just going to want to make a little knot and just make sure it's really secure. So you want to double or triple knot it just to make sure that it stays. like so and then just take your scissors and you can snip off the end and I just put a little piece of tape on this just so it doesn't fray as well just put a little wrap piece on there just to keep the ends from fraying when you're using it like so so there you go and that's not going to go anywhere because it's actually all the way through the ball all right, so then you want to kind of figure out how long you need your rope to be. So what you want is it's going to need to be long enough to attach to this hoop. And this is going to be around one of your ankles. And then you want enough rope that you can swing it around your body. So that looks about right there. And you can kind of try it on yourself before you cut just to make sure you have it the right length. And cut off what you need. And then you're going to make a little knot around your loop as well. Just make a 
really good knot on both ends and that way they're not going anywhere. And then I again took a little piece of tape. I just found out it made it kind of swing a little bit better and hold better. Um, put a little piece of tape on the hoop end as well. Uh, and I just found it sort of went around my ankle better if I actually fixed it in place. So I'm going to just pop a little piece of tape on there just like that. So it's going to tie in the ends and also hold it so it, the hoop moves when we move this part. So that is basically it. So then you have this. So this loops around your ankle and you give this a swing and you can watch Miss Tammy's video. She demonstrates with hers with the help of Sparky, her assistant. Uh, so you can give those a try. And again, if you don't want to cut or you don't have anything to do it with, you can do the same thing. Just start with this with the taped up end and tie it the exact same way on the other side. Either one works just fine. Um, and it's a fun little activity. Get you outside and get you moving. So thank you for watching. We'll see you later.